What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you how to overlay art on top of a brick wall in Vray 3.6 for SketchUp. Let's get started. First, I will create a surface like this to represent the wall. And now I need a base material. For this, I will use a brick material that I found on polygon.com, but you can use any material you want. Next, I will make this whole face a group and use the paint bucket tool to apply our brick material. This is a little too small, so I can change the scale here. Then I can test render it to see how it looks. Looks good so far. Next, I will create a generic material and rename it to wall art. For this, I'm going to use this photo that I found online. First, I will bring it into Photoshop and delete the background to make it transparent and save it as a PNG. I'm going to name it Wall Art. Now, I can click here to open the diffuse map and load our image like so. I will also click here and change the material preview to Wall Close Up. This will make it easier to see our material. Then, I'm going to duplicate the surface and apply the art material on it. Like before, I will also scale this up and then test render it. We need this material to have a transparent background to overlay it on top of our base material. So we need to go down to Opacity and turn on Custom Source. This will derive the alpha channel from the diffuse texture. Now that we have both of these materials, I'm going to create a blend material and set the base material as our brick material and add a coat. Then set that as the wall art material. Again, I'm going to change the material preview to wall close-up to take a closer look at it. It's a little faded, so just increase the blend slider all the way to the right like so. There we go. Next, let's create a copy of this surface and apply this blend material, then test render it. Again, I would change the size here. At first glance, it looks pretty good, but you can see that the art texture is not at the right proportion. So why does this happen? Let's compare the two texture images. As you can see, they are not at the same aspect ratio. This brick texture is a square image, while this art texture is a rectangular image. So when you overlay the art on top of the brick texture, it has to be scaled down to make it fit. To fix this, we need to make both textures have the same aspect ratio. First, open up your base texture in Photoshop. Now you can import the art texture on top of it. Then I can scale and position it however I want. Then hide the base texture and save this as the same name as before, which is Wall Art. Now we can go back to SketchUp and re-render it. As you can see, it automatically overrides the old texture and now the new one looks like it is at the correct proportion. Next, we need to position the image. It's kind of hard to position it because we can't see the texture in our viewport. So to make it easier, I can go to the SketchUp Material Editor and load the art texture here. There it is. Now you can adjust the position of the texture by right-clicking and position it. I will place it in the middle like so, and then test render it again. It's looking good. But now, we need to get rid of the extra art textures on top of the brick so that only one remains. To do that, I'm going to create a box surrounding the middle art texture here. Now use the paint bucket and apply our brick texture to the rest of the surface. Let's render it. At first glance, it looks pretty good. But if you look closer, on the border between the two textures, you can see that the brick material doesn't line up correctly. This is because the UV position has been reset when we use the paint bucket tool. So let's undo to the previous phase. And instead of using the paint bucket tool, first select the phase that you want to replace. Now in the material list, we can select the brick texture, right click and select apply to selection. This will replace the current selection material while maintaining the UV position. Now we can render it again. As you can see, it looks better now. Here's a cool tip when using this workflow. You see how this bottom part of the art doesn't line up with the brick? I can simply go back to Photoshop, turn on the base image, adjust the position, hide the base image, and then save it as the same name as before. Now I can go back to SketchUp and re-render it. And now it moves to a better position. You can even make the image bigger or smaller if you want. 
And that's what's cool about this workflow. It's super quick and efficient for making changes. You can also add another texture to overlay on top of your base material. For example, I'm going to use my logo here and give it a transparent background. Then simply change the coat material to the new wall art material like so. When doing this, you may need to make some changes to the border, but it can be fixed pretty easily by moving these edges like so. You can also load in a preview of the new texture. Or even load in the original brick texture like so. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. Now you can use this workflow and apply it to your projects like I did here. This is a new model that I created for my members on Patreon. If you're interested in getting this model, then sign up on my Patreon before the end of the month. Or you can get it now on Gumroad. And that's all for today guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment below if you have any questions. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.